What's up guys, Nutmeister, and welcome back to another episode of Nutmeister in the Vault. This episode we're going to be... okay, maybe not. Wait, maybe we won't be working on the sheep farm today. But, um, what is this? Oh, I think I know. Fire uh, to a nether portal. It's made out of nether brick. Looks very, very evil and demonic. Um, yeah, this thing probably came out of the nether, but... Doesn't matter, we still got our first ship here ever in the trading port. But we will go investigate that. But before we do, we shall check out the improvements I have made to the ship. As you can see, it looks a lot different already. So the first one is I made a slight curve to the aft of the ship. The aft is basically the back. Uh, this was actually suggested by one of my good friends on the server, Epic Mounty. And yeah, it actually make, made the ship look a lot better. And then on the interior, I of course got all of the floors done, like I said I was going to last episode. Ooh. And then I moved the ladder to the central mast, because I installed the masts. Uh, I got to tear down this mountain though, a creeper blew up here by the way, um, because that crossbeam is not going to fit. And I installed this thing right here and complete with a steering wheel, but there's no way to get up there. I haven't installed a ladder or anything. Yeah, crow's nest at the top. A very unproportional crow's nest, I might add. <coughs> yep, you can get quite the view from up here. Also, ignore this. This was, oh wow, I can't believe the mountain actually used to be right there. I could jump to my uh, ship from it. It's pretty cool. So yeah. I also, I need to get some food, but we're not going to go and just go and say some animals, because my good buddy Matinho, he, um, he, um, built an awesome looking automated piston farm at spawn. Uh, so yeah. We'll go and get our food from there, possibly pass by his house as we go. That's lightning fire over there. I don't think that that's from that nether portal. So yeah, we'll also pass by his house. Okay. <coughs> and here is the place that I like to call the just the wasteland because there's so many creeper explosions. There's that thing. I don't even know how that got there. Apparently the nether portals were glitching. But yeah. Here's Mateen Yo's house, complete with his skin face on top of it. Oh, it looks like he cleared out all the cobble from the other day. Yeah, I, pr I pranked him the other day. I'm not going to upload it though, because the reaction to the prank was not the best. Not the best. Some bad stuff happened with that prank. Uh, bad stuff that we shall forget. But yeah, here it is. It looks awesome. A lot of people think that he cheated with this, but I, I don't think so. I mean, I guess, like, maybe, but probably not. Other people have built stuff like this. Where's the entrance, though? That's something I want to know. Where, where's the entrance on this gigantic place? Do you just have to, like, sprint jump in? You might just have to sprint jump in. Wait, but then how do I leave? Oh, well, too late for that now. Okay. So, yeah. Let's go over and pull this lever. Oh, looks like it was recently harvested. And that harvests everything. Oh, a little bit of lag there from all of this stuff. Grab some watermelon. Oh, hey, I just realized I can actually start a watermelon farm thanks to this. Since... Uh, well, actually, I did just find an abandoned mine shaft anyway. That's that's a bit ironic. Pumpkins, in case we ever want to make jack lanterns, which I may well want to for like scarecrows and stuff. Of course, it's not 100% perfect. Um, but yeah. Why didn't this wheat harvest? Is there another level lever I have to pull? Is the redstone just broken? Let me pull this lever again. Huh. 
Good job with the redstone there, Mateen. Very, very good job. Wow, that's kind of a huge fail. Those were the main crops I wanted because they'd give me the best food. Oh well, I guess we'll just have to tell him about that or he may see the episode and go and fix it himself. Now how do I leave? How do I leave this place is the question that I must now ask myself. Because it looks very nice. Do I just have to parkour out? Yep, you have to parkour in and out apparently. Alright, well I got some watermelons which I hate. Oh, dog barking, dog barking in the background. Roxy! Roxy, shush! Shh! So yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, be right back. Sorry about that. But yeah, this is something I'm afraid of. That is like all nether materials right there. Mateen, um... Mateen's been to the nether. And he's been to the nether close to where I am. Apparently, supposedly, he, uh, went away from where I was. Oh, hey, look, Jay's building a ship. Oh, that's a cool-looking ship, actually. Not as cool as mine, though. Yeah. I'm kidding. But it probably isn't. He'd probably agree with me. Um, oh, man, the lag today. Oh, right. It's not lag. I'm just out of food. So, yeah, the melons will be our last resort food. Ooh. Oh, hey, my friend's playing Dota 2. About that Dota 2 tournament plan... Man, I, I'm missing out on a lot of subjects. That is being delayed for a really long time because my team is just not ready at all. So yeah, it's going to take a while. Oh, I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the episode, but yeah, guys, my voice sounds different, doesn't it? It's because I got a new mic. Oh, thank goodness I'm the only one on the server. It's because I got a new mic the other day from courtesy of my awesome brother. He gave me a whole ton of gaming gear when he came here. And, um... There we go. And so, yeah. That was pretty cool. Um, let's head to the nether. Oh, everyone's playing Dota 2 today. I should be playing right now. Oh, man, I'm going to join the party late. Uh, but, yeah. So, yeah, my, my voice sounds a bit different. I, I think it makes me sound a lot younger than I actually am, but my friends just, uh, don't say that. So, yeah, I guess. And that's that. Okay. Oh, almost jumped in that fire right there. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to this nether. I'm gonna have to build a better pathway. It's the first time going into the nether in this world. I've never been here. Let me check out what it's like. Yeah, it looks like the typical nether stuff. Some people have been grabbing some soul sand. So, oh, he's got an enchanted golden sword. I want that so badly. Oh my gosh, guys. I forgot about these guys. Uh, but yeah, so that, that that's pretty cool. Um, what else is there to talk about? Um, oh, hey, nether quartz, sweet. Uh, yeah, uh, so apparently this world is very, very, very low in um, nether fortresses, and it's kind of wanted what I wanted to go and get was some nether fortress stuff and some glowstone of course because both of those things would help in the builds very much so that no that's not quartz whoa one issue with this mouse though I can point out it's an it's an amazing mouse but it's got a very very high sensitivity very high as you can see I'm like moving a lot more than I'm used to yeah so this is pretty sweet. We got us some nether quartz finally, and I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna end up being the jerk of the server and just the guy, the nebris, I guess as you'd call him, and the guy who just takes all of the glowstone and all of the nether quartz. All right, let's see nether quartz and glowstone up there. I'm gonna hone in on it. So yeah. Also, yeah, I started that Dota 2 series. I'm gonna have another episode for that soon. I actually change up the format, changed up the format on that and stuff. Oh man, I also should have me mentioned this at the start of the episode. I really need to start making notes for my episodes so that I can remember what I'm going to say. But uh, yeah, sorry about the lack of Netmeister and the Vault content for a couple of weeks. For like the past two weeks, Epic Mounty server owner has not been able to play. 
and usually he just well has not been able to use his computer usually he d oh jeez usually he just give it to one of his friends but the friend he gave it to decided let's run the server on Hamachi and I was like yeah no I'm sorry I can't I don't play Hamachi it's not that I can't I just I don't trust it I don't trust Hamachi it seems really really insecure maybe that's just me being like really what's that word Par paranoid I think it is paranoid uh it doesn't seem right for some reason but I'm pretty sure it's the right word but yeah I, I don't trust that I don't trust Hamachi so yeah I was like yeah I guess no new episode this week so yeah that happened and um last week uh, Epic Mountie didn't give the world to Matinho, so that's why there was no one last week. Uh, so yeah. And Matin Matinho, he was actually hosting it on a port forwarded server this time, so... Yep. Um, that was unfortunate, he finally got it port forwarded and then he doesn't even get the map. Okay. So, yeah. I wonder how long this episode's been going for. I, I should probably check that. I think I've been talking for around about a solid 10 minutes, maybe. Probably 10 minutes. <coughs> uh, what else should we do in this episode? Well, we got glowstone and stuff. We got nether quartz. Maybe we should do something. Oh my gosh, I almost just fell in lava around our base. Oh, but look at all this ne sweet, sweet nether quartz. Alright, I guess... Is there anything else I can talk about, really? Upcoming plans, that sort of stuff. Um, no, nothing really that I haven't already discussed. I'm getting close to 30 levels, though. That is, uh... That is going to be sweet. Except I don't have an enchantment table. This, this has been my worst world for diamonds ever. Usually at this point in a world I'd have at least like some diamonds, at least enough to build an enchantment table, but no, not even after hours of mining do I have any. And I'm like, oh that's awesome. This That's like, thanks so much Minecraft world. I have to say this, this world, it's been like very architecturally beautiful, well not architecturally, like geographically I guess. So like terrain and stuff, it's been very beautiful, but ores and the stuff that you need to like be able to play really, really well has not been as good as the last world at all. So yeah. Although the nether looks fairly rich with ores and stuff, but that's not going to be how it is for long once I'm done coming here and just stealing everything. I, man, I wish I had Silk Touch or Fortune. Either of those would be much, much better for this. Alright. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not even going to end up taking down these pillars, is what's going to happen. It's just going to be a ton of cobblestone pillars like a jerk as well. <laughs> that sort of stuff. Alright, so yeah. I'm going to check the episode time. And I will continue mining, and then maybe we'll do some stuff with the resources I have gathered. I'll see you in a... <gasps> no! You have got to be kidding me right now. Oh my god. Damn! <sighs> you have got to be kidding me. Oh, that's terrible. Oh my god, why? <laughs> There goes like all my iron armor and stuff. This, this, did this merchant bring anything in their chest? Nope. Oh, you have got to be kidding! Man, that's terrible. I had all that nether quartz and stuff. That okay? Here's what was happening. So a ghost was shooting at me, and I was like, on three hearts. I had three hearts left, and I so I was like, oh geez, oh geez, get out of here. So I started mining into a wall. And then all of a sudden, lava just appears, and I realize it. But before my brain can like make the connection of like lava equals bad, backtrack. I'm it's I'm just oh, I'm dead pretty much. I'm in the lava and I can't move fast enough. Oh man, that is the worst. That is the worst thing that could possibly.
possibly happen to me at this stage. I don't have any diamonds. Haven't gotten any. Oh my god. Oh, good thing that there's all this iron stone. Oh, I had. I almost had 30 levels as well. That was terrible. Oh god, why? Nothing in that chest. Oh, and now I'm lagging. Ah, uh, this episode. This episode has had its moments. What is this for? Why is that? What the heck is this? Oh, I think I know what that was. All right. Uh, all right. Well. Oh man, we were only like twelve minutes into the episode when I stopped recording. But it looks like. Uh, it looks like unfortunately I'm gonna stop here. I mean, not really much else I can do. I could reassemble all of, all of my stuff. Um. Oh lag. Oh my god, what is with the lag? Yeah, I could reassemble all my stuff, but yeah, nothing really I can do. Just let's just oh wait, let's reset it today first. Let's go check out some of the other people on the server's houses. I guess oh, that's how we're gonna end the episode. Oh my gosh. You'll be kidding me with the slag right now. We may just have to stop the episode here. I mean that may just be what has to happen. I, s I don't want to stop it here because then I'd, then I'd release like a very very short episode. So yeah, we'll, we'll just go check out these other people's houses with nothing on us. Maybe something funny will happen. Oh, I see. He's doing the uh, super super tall jungle tree trick with the... Uh, where well, you just grow a jungle tree on top of another jungle tree and then you just keep doing that and you get like 5,000 on like a huge huge jungle tree that looks pretty cool pretty cool yeah what is this what are they trying to drop here that's a bit odd what is this contraption Oh, maybe it was like an armor deploy deployment shoot. I don't know. Oh, but yeah, there goes like all of my stuff. What's this? Probably shouldn't be fiddling with the redstone of this guy. Hey, he's got his chip of his own that we saw earlier, the lava tower. Yeah, I, I like Jay. Jay is a very, very nice person. And he is actually very, very good at building. This, pl this whole place looks good. Yeah, now let's go check out the Epic Bounties place. And, yeah, but that is across this whole entire huge lava bridge. So, yeah, I guess I should reassemble my stuff and then we'll go check that out. So, yeah, here we are at the Epic Bounties place. So, another very, very nice mountain biome covered with torches over there, BCJ Forever's uh, snow fort. And yeah, his his igloo, which apparently he thought would be a better idea to build in the snow-free mountain rather than the snow biome right over there. But yeah, he's got this tiny little igloo of stuff of shack startuffness, I guess. And then he's also got this minecart system set up where basically, if you want to get to the other wet area, you uh, stop the minecart. You hop in, you start it again, and yeah, it, it just loops infinitely. So you just wait a couple of sec. It's I guess it's kind of like a bus. Just wait a couple of seconds for it to come back, and yeah, then then you go. So yeah, and apparently it's really glitched out as well. So yeah, that's his place. He's got some something starting off over here. I don't really know what it is. If you want to find out what it is, I guess go check his channel. But youtube.com forward slash the epic monkey. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just a bedroom. But yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you enjoyed that fail I had there with the lava and stuff. 
Um, I'll see you next time. Not my star, out.